In previous lecture, we captured the RAM with this tool magnet. <laughs> what is named magnet RAM capture tool? So, but in this lecture, we're gonna try it with the FT key imager tool, which is actually a pretty popular tool in the digital forensics community. So, FT key imager is a data preview and imaging tool. It is used to create forensic images of target computer data without making the original evidence. So by using the, this tool, you can create the forensic images of local hard drives, uh, floppy disk kits, zip disks, CDs, DVDs, entire folders, or individual files from various places within the media. So FTK Imager can also use to perform jobs other than accuring images, uh, for example, the mounting an image for read-only, previewing the contents of forensic images, exporting files and folders from forensic images, uh, accuring Windows register, and recovering the deleted files. So uh, the tool can be either installed locally on where it will be used, or run Chrome with a uh, USB thumb drive connected to the machine in the field so the latter is preferred when conducting by phone on running systems so uh, before we begin using this tool we will demonstrate how to use uh, how to install it on a portable media device um, in this case a usb thumb drive so first we're gonna go to the access data.com and product download so maybe these links will be changed so that's why you have to yeah okay, okay. <clears throat> i access data yeah why are you not like access data did they change the domain oh they, they look fine so enter the access data file and uh, okay so then product download so now select the which version of the FTQ imager you want to download you need to fill in the registration form here as in the previous the magnet so um so so you're gonna fill the in full name email address uh, the job type uh, job type <laughs> among the other details here so just uh, click on download page so and click on download now as you can see we have to fill out form to FTK in four points. You have to fill organization name, first name, last name, or job title. So uh, we're gonna use the previous email that email fake mail. <laughs> Actually, it's email fake. So you can use this email if you don't want to give information. Company organization name, email fake, first name fake, mail business mail, and job title. I do uh, email faking. So I, I agree to exterior privacy policy and submit form. So if the key images download automatically. Oh, yes, I see it. <laughs> okay, so I, I'm gonna save it to the desktop here, as you can see here. Okay, so uh, it's desktop here it might take some time because my internet service provider is so small uh, I called them out but actually they didn't ask for me I called 10 times a day yes actually let me okay yeah uh, the installing FTK imager is actually same as the other applications just click next 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 <laughs> after reading the uh, terms and the uh, license if you agree click on click on agree I accept and click on next 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 again and Okay, actually let's finish the, as you can see here, we got the FT key imager tool. So we installed this tool. So we can do this, uh, do this tool with RAM cap capture. So as you can see, here, when you click on the file, you're going to get, see the RAM capture tab. Uh, so of course you have to click on it uh, in order to run it. So we have to select the destination path on it. We're gonna create another folder uh, named FTK Imager Memory Capture. Of course, I, I don't also. This is what happens to type FTK Imager Memory Capture. Okay, yeah. So uh, click on Browse. We're gonna select this FTK Imager Memory Capture. Okay. And the destination file name, uh, file name is mdoc.mem. But we can also include the page file. We can also create the AD1 file here. So, um, okay. And click on the capture memory. So we, I, as, as, I, as I said earlier, I have a pretty expensive uh, capture. So that's why it's, <laughs> it's capturing so fast. So it depends on capture actually. And the, the random access memory, we can, but it also depends the hard disk because it reads from the random access memory uh, to the hard disk. And I'm, I'm also using the, by the way, I'm also using installed this application on the virtual machine. That's why it 
might be slightly slow compared to my original state. so as actually did you notice i don't know but um it's act it's actually already created uh, as i as the previous lecture just two, 20 seconds or something so that's why that's because we created the ad1 file so it took so long i can wait also and stop the video and then continue but uh, now it's like, why, why do we need the uh, 8 bomb file? There's no need for them. So I'm gonna clear this here, bit, and destination path also select the same path. Notice this is the, I cleared the map, nothing inside of this folder. And yeah, I, I'm not gonna create any of the files here. I just click the capture of memory. As you can see, it will just do 20 seconds or so because there was the magnet for, for okay memory capture thing successfully so let's see what happened five five four four zero this is the total size of my memory so let's compare this to the previous okay how yeah this i think because this five so in this section we have demonstrated how to capture a volatile memory windows ram using four well-known free programs the captured ram image can be further analyzed to extract information like passwords temporary temporary internet files related files and other important activities as we are going to see in the next sections and lectures so in the coming section we will continue our discussion uh, of four and six equation and cover how to secure hard drives and related digital storage media images.